So question number 60, we have to look for the option which facilitates the opening of the stomatal aperture. So if we form the guard cells which are present in the dicot, they are bean shaped, uh, surrounded by the subsidiary cells. Right? Now inner part or inner wall of the guard cell that is thick. Yes, and the outer one is thin. And if we talk about the radial micellations, these are the cellulose microfibrils which are arranged radially. Right? So the arrangement is radial here. Now, if we look at the first option, contraction of outer wall of the guard cell, that, that will lead to the uh, opening of the stomata. No, this is not the case. Uh, from the subsidiary cell, the guard cells, they will take up the water which increases the turgidity and what will happen when it will take up water, the outer wall that will not contract that is going to expand, yes. Decrease in turgidity. No, it does not decrease in turgidity. Uptake of the water will lead to increase in turgidity. Third, radial micellation of cellulose microfibrils in the cell wall of gut cell. Yes, the micellations, they are arranged radially. This is right. Fourth, longitudinal orientation of cellulose microfibril. This is again wrong. It is not longitudinal. They are not longitudinally orientated. They are rather radially orientated. Due to the radial micellations, what is going to happen when it absorbs water, the turgidity increases so that this thick wall, yes, it is going to move towards the outer side so that the crescent shaped structure is formed which results in opening of stomata, right? So the right option here is radial micellation will facilitate the opening of the stomata. So this is all about this question number 60. Now we are going to discuss 61 here.